looks like a motor. It's like a racing car. Yeah. So I put the lightest, I put the lightest flywheel in it that I could. And the fit and finish, all the carbon fiber, the weave. I mean, everything we make is in house. Smashed it. Thank you, bro. Honestly, Smashed that means it. a lot. Smashed it. Hey guys, Rod Sanger, Cardi Security, welcome back to the channel. We are back at Goodwood, third time in a month. We were here four weeks ago for players and then Festival of Speed. And now we are here today for the first REN11 Flat 6 show. All about Porsches today. So we bought three of my Porsches down, my 997 GT3, 993 Turbo, and 964 Turbo, car security stand, car stereo, steering wheels, and so on. It's all Porsche content today. Air-cooled, water-cooled, and we've got a live track. So I think it's time we walked around, showed you some of the cars, show you some of the track action, and uh, maybe we grab one or two people and have a chat with them about their cars. So let's get into it. Right next to our stand, we've got this lovely 964 RS in Ruby Stone. Belongs to Paragon Porsche. Um, 8,000 miles, 8,800 miles. Looks absolutely mint. I actually love these colors. Uh, to be brave, I suppose, driving around in a Ruby Stone pink Porsche. But I think it works well on these narrow body cars. Lovely. Let's carry on walking. That is naughty. Listen to that. What are you singing in at the moment? Mike? So this is a Gunther Works 993 Resto Mod recreation. The details in this car, the carbon fiber, the speaker grills, all of this aluminium, the grab handles, the dash, carbon fiber dash, steering wheel, the dials, I can go on and on and on. The pedals, wow, the seats, oh my God. Listen to that. Wow, I'm blown away. Amjad is here. Right. Thank you very much. That was, to see you. that was amazing. Good to see you, Thank but you. that was amazing. What do you think? Be honest, uh, blown away. It, the engine does not sound like a Porsche engine. Inside, it's got that Porsche DNA. So I'm sitting in there, it's a 993 left-hand drive. I get all of that. The interior, the bespoke interior, everything. But it's just, I'm blown away. So so the, the engine, believe it or not, the original, the only part, original part of it is the block. So it's got okay. the original block from, from the original. It's a four litre. That's a four litre, uh, it's 435 plus horsepower, um, naturally aspirated. Uh, made by um, Rothbutt up in Oregon. Okay. Um, Jeff Gamroth is part of our team. So, um, and the car weighs about 1170, 1160 kilograms. Super light. Yeah. That's super light. So every single panel on the car, with the exception of the doors, yeah. is carbon fiber and it's all built in house. On August the 19th, we're unveiling our new uh, turbo car. So you'll see an evolution of that. So 993 out. turbo. Yep, coming. Yeah. That's we have got. Insane. We are going to have three UK cars. Uh, so three right-hand drive UK Gunther UK Works. coupes, um, okay. naturally aspirated cars, but they sold out this morning in eight minutes. So if you want one of those, I'm really so sorry. So I missed that. So if you want a turbo, why didn't you let me know? So uh, yeah, they're all gone. You know what? I've seen this car online. I've watched some videos. I've seen some of your press launches, but actually seeing it with your own eyes being able to sit in it, rev the nuts out of it. But once you see the car in the flesh, mm. 
people get it. Because what people don't understand is we haven't just made the arches wide for aesthetics. We did all the mechanical stuff first. So to make the car, well, you know, you've got 964 993, right? Yeah. The known to understeer. But I don't know if you knew, but if you unbolt the front suspension arms on both of those cars, there are two additional mounting points that are okay. 30 mil wider out. You can re the suspension arms in and it widens the front track 60 mil. Okay. So we did that as a start. Bespoke suspension components all the way around. The track, front and rear track is the same now. So it's got a square track, which makes it handle properly. And we then clothed it. So a byproduct was the car had to be wider but we didn't just make it wide to make it look good. We did the chassis first. It and does then, look good. Yeah, so it, it, it's function over, yeah. you know, over form, not yes. form over function. Yeah. It's like a racing car. Yeah. So I put the lightest, I put the lightest flywheel in it that I could. It doesn't even sound like a Porsche. No, it sounds like a motorbike, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Is. I think it's amazing the fit and finish, all the carbon fiber, the weave, the so aluminium. Everything we make is in house. We make the seats, the steering wheel, every carbon panel. What is are the seats house. based on? What? We design them ourselves. Yeah. But so at the moment, this is the fastest naturally aspirated 911 around Laguna Seca of any generation. And it's only 0.27 of a second slower than a McLaren V1. And it's only got 435 horsepower. Smashed it. Thank you, bro. Honestly, Smashed that means it. a lot. Smashed I've not even walked around the show yet, but that's my highlight. I'm done. I might as well go home. <laughs> I'm done. Um, so, yeah, this is just amazing. Gunther Works details are on the screen. Make sure you give them a follow. This thing is just friggin' insane. Thanks again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks again. again. Guys, it's quite loud behind me, but check this out. One of uh, RPM Techniques cars, Manti Racing. Uh, I saw this the other day at one of the supercar driver events. Looks absolutely stunning. GT4 MR, well, look, 959. How often do you see a 959? It literally is Porsche heaven. And I've probably only seen 40 cars at the moment. And apparently there are six or 700 cars here. I'm not going to talk about all of them because this will be one long video. Uh, but we'll just carry on walking, show you some of the cars here. First, one of the first GT4 RSs in the country in, could be speed yellow, but obviously it's a shade of yellow. Uh, all the carbon fiber stuff. Might be the Wyzak pack on there. These are super cool. Again, car of the moment, I think. Nine nine seven Sport Classic with the ducktail. Looks stunning. So Palms here with his nine nine seven C two S. This car's already been featured on the channel. The link on the screen now if you want to watch that video. Uh, on the Kenwood stand, because he has, for obvious reasons, Kenwood doubled in car play unit in there. Looks absolutely fantastic. Factory finished look in his 997. Slammed on the floor on KWV3, because that's what Palm does. Stunning looking car. Look guys, another 959 over my shoulder. It's two 959s here. You know, they're like buses, you don't see them for ages and then two turn up. If it weren't for the Gunther Works, I'd probably say that this, for me, could be the car of the show, a 993. Turbo S uh, with the air vents, air scoops on the rear wings uh, in speed yellow with the yellow seat back covers as well. 
Um, wow, it's a step up from mine and worth quite a lot more than my 993 Turbo. Hi, Rod. I met Paul a few years ago when I nearly bought a 964 Turbo. After nearly. Him. Nearly. Um, <laughs> he's bought a couple of cars here, but something that's caught my eye is another 993. 993 R? Yes. Correct? Yeah. So, what is this? What's going on here? Okay. So, there's a little bit of history to this car, in as much as um, I started uh, doing bespoke builds back in 2002. So, our first model. Uh, that we started developing then was a 300R, and it was based okay. on the 964. Right, right. Yeah. Um, so we we developed that over a course of three years. Did an official launch in 2005 as a product, but the whole less is more is our thing. That's our ethos. Simpler design, not too shouty. Um, cars that just get on with it in a, in a subtle way. You know, it's a one-off at the moment, but everything we've made is made. <laughs> Should we say the panels? The, 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 everything we use, I mean, we use genuine Porsche motorsport parts underneath because, mm -hmm. as you know, when some of those are lighter and more adjustable, and so that, it, it, that's all on there as well. It's here today because we use Wave Track for the differential, which I right. like. Yes. Um, for a road car, it's, it's not too uh, intrusive um, and uh, it works when, when it needs to work. So, some, some, you know, some have gripper divs or bait divs, and they're quite in, intrusive on a road car, I find. I've got to say, it's a st stunning car, and obviously I can I can hear in your voice and the way you've described it. It's a lot of passion, and a lot of time, and a lot of thought has gone into. Yeah, that's why we do it. And know, I'm, building I'm not, this, I'm not going to make the claim that it's all me because I have a team of guys it's that work team. with me, and they're they'll. But you are the head honcho, I think. Yeah, I know, but so, it's, you know everything falls on your shoulders. We all get round the table, and we 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 like to come up with ideas, and, and I, I encourage the guys to come up with ideas. Yeah, I mean, there's, so, there's been so many reiterations of that front bumper, for example, you know, and the, and the rear engine lid, and that's still not the final thing. But yeah, just to give you an example, we've just kept well, gently pushing away. I've got to uh, say, guys, stunning car. Uh, Paul Stevens' details are on the screen now. Make sure you give him a follow. Uh, check up on the status of the new 993R and only of the older cars that they may have for sale. Make sure you give him a follow. Paul, thanks, thanks very Ross. much for your time. Thanks very much, guys. Andy 993, he's been to our car and coffee events. We've actually had him on the channel as well. Uh, it looks lovely. I love the uh, livery he's got here. It's this sort of retro inspired livery, left hand drive. I know he spent an absolute fortune on this car, modifying it recently, suspension, blah, blah, blah. Um, Andy's details are on the screen. Have a look at his Instagram, shows you what he's done to this car. 9960s. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of 996s? I'm quite warming to them, you know, this fried egg front light. Um, I think they've grown on me. Uh, I prefer the Gen 2s over the Gen 1. Um, I think on our channel, we're gonna start giving a lot more love for 996s. Nice variety of cars here, you know, 964C4. 997 Gen 2 GT3 RS. Some of the cars have already gone, so this paddock earlier on was full of cars. So, and I quite like the way they've sort of staged it. Unfortunately, as I said, some cars have gone. Uh, but again, good variety, air-cooled, water-cooled, so they've mixed and matched them. Um, there's no exclusiveness here, it's inclusive, so whatever Porsche you've got, bring it down and you could be parked next to a 150 grand 997 GT3 RS uh, and your car could might only be a 924 but it's still a Porsche. lovely 991.2 GTS but there's something different about this car number 19 mm. let's ask Tim <laughs> the owner Tim how you doing nice to meet you Raj I'm good I'm good good good, good, good. 
What's different about this car? So there's only one of 15 basically uh, for Britain and it's been specced by Nick Tandy. So he won the 24 hour Le Mans in 2015 uh, based on the, yeah. the P1 Porsche. Um, so basically all the individual drivers spec the cars up. It's got di different wheels, uh, carbon fiber interior, mats, uh, graphics based on the racing car. So it's just, it's mainly like a GT4, you know, GTS, but special because it's all got all the specs from the 24 hour Le Mans racing. I love the livery as well. It's a good looking car. It's nice. It's, it's very it's, good looking It's car. a little bit different, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Tim's actually bought my uh, 991 GT3 wheels, a silver one. Yes. So hopefully yes. at some point he'll send me pictures of this car with Definitely. my wheels on there. I'm old looks school. I like yeah. silver. <laughs> yeah. He's a bit like me. I mean, the black do look good, but I prefer it with silver wheels. Yeah, me um, too. Fantastic, mate. I've got to say. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Much appreciated. And, uh, don't forget to send me those pictures. Absolutely. Thank you so much. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. So one good thing today about the Flat Six show here with Rain 11 at Goodwood is that the track is open. So if you've got a Porsche and you want to go on track, go on the track. This 964 coming now, I know the owner, James. Really, really quick car. Uh, from memory, I think it's a 3.8. That uh, is set up really for fast road and track use. And you can see it is going. Palm, what are you saying? You know what? It's been a really good day. Where, where, where else can you spend the day amongst a load of Porsches and watch them go round and round on track? This is amazing. Brilliant. Sun's out, Porsches are out, good community, open track. What I also like about this show, it's inclusive. So, as I said earlier, air cooled, water cooled. 1960s, 2022, GT3, whatever you've got, bring it. If you want to go on the track, go on the track. If you want to be static and be parked up, you can do that. And like a true Brit, I will say, the sun's out, but it's too hot. We're never happy, are we? Day. Porsche heaven, if you're a Porsche guy for me, absolutely loved it. Uh, good mix of cars, track action, one off, which we're not gonna mention or show you, but yeah, you can have accidents when there is a, a live track and somebody else had an accident. Now, uh, for me, car of the show, I said it earlier, I've had a good walk around, seen a lot of cool cars. I'll say it again, car of the show for me, 993 Gunther Works. It is amazing in the flesh. To actually see it, to get up close and personal, look at the details, the carbon fiber, the interior, the dash, everything. It's just mind boggling, I'm blown away. Got the key again. I think I need to just give it one more start, another blip, and then I'm gonna go home. But I guarantee you, I'm gonna be thinking about this car for a long time. Now, which car did you like? We've shown you a lot of Porsche content. Which car did you like? Air-cooled, water-cooled, whatever. Drop a comment down below. Um, as always, uh, hit the like button, that's very important. Share and make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more content coming to the channel very soon. From me, it's a goodbye. And from the Gunther Works, it's goodbye too.
can't get over it. Wow. It's just one of those moments you'll remember for a long time. And I'll remember this moment for a, a very, very long time. Or maybe if the guys at Gunther Works can organize it, they can get down to Hayes and I'll go for a drive in this car and get it back on the channel. But from me, from Ren 11, from Flat 6, and from Gunther Works, it's a goodbye.